Hi, I'm Kara Wanagatima with Microsoft Teams. Welcome to another tech tip about our product. Let's hop in. Welcome back everyone. We're right here sitting in the Teams client and I want to talk with you about a reasonably new feature called the command bar. The command bar is our way of speeding up your productivity yet again so that you can uh, access common features uh, right from your keyboard. The command bar is designed to allow you to multitask, uh, have access to quick actions, and uh, conduct searches very quickly. If you're a developer, it also gives you an opportunity to extend your app, and I'm going to show you a little bit of that. You'll hear a term that we'll talk about, and it's called slash commands. And a slash command is just that. It's a command you start with a slash from your keyboard. There are several I'm going to demonstrate to you. But you can also use the at symbol in the command bar as well, and that lets you get to apps that are installed on the system. That is, of course, if your IT administrator has granted you access to these apps. And lastly, it's a search experience. You start typing a word or typing someone's name, uh, why that information will automatically come up for you. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and click in the command bar uh, just so that I can show you the little prompt that's there. Now I'm just going to go ahead and hit that slash and you'll see the drop down of available commands. Sometimes when I'm trying to do some focus work I want to set my status for instance to do not disturb. All I have to do is hit DND and enter and my status uh, in my presence indicator will be switched to do not disturb. The other thing that I know that I want to do and a f function I use quite frequently is go to. Uh, if I know the name of the team uh, or the channel that I want to go to I can simply type it in and there it is Contoso IT. I'm going to hop right over to that team. It's going to take me directly to the general channel. Um, I can also uh, type in uh, help and this is a great feature uh, for instance how do I share a file? Uh, it's going to take you right to TBOT. And if you haven't used TBOT, I highly encourage it. It's our interactive help experience, and uh, you will find it under your chat area within the product. And one of the other great features about it also is I can type in what's new, and then I can see the updated uh, release notes for the product and get ideas about what new features exist. Now I'm going to use go to again. I'm going to take myself back to the team that I was in real quickly. I know that the IT team is going to be coordinating some activities. And so what I want to do is tell them a little about the weather in a particular location. The very first time I hit an app from the command bar, uh, you may see a dialogue like this. And it's just going to ask you to install this uh, since our IT department has approved it. So I'm going to click on install. And now I can go ahead and click on open. And then it'll work for me beautifully in the command bar itself. You only have to do that one time. So right now I'm going to type in New York. Uh, this is the area that I want to see. It gives me all the different New Yorks. I'm going to go to New York, New York. And it's going to tell me that right now it's 35 degrees in New York. What I really want to do is share that information with the rest of the team. So I'm going to hover here and I'm going to click copy. That information has been copied to the clipboard and now I can come down here into my Contoso general channel and I can say check out the uh, New York weather and I'm going to paste that right in and then people can see what's happening and have a conversation about it. I can always use the command bar to search for people or information as well. If I just start typing someone's name the list of employees in my organization will begin to pop up and populate with the people who have that name. I can of course then click very quickly on that person and go and have a chat. But I can also use the slash command for files and type in the name of a file. It will also always show me the ones that I was recently editing as well. So the command bar is a fast and easy way to increase your productivity in Microsoft Teams. We hope you enjoy it.